stuck. Heard you walked right up into a whole thing. Take up a position at the table, Initiate. There's a lot to talk about. Any of these possible font shapes look familiar. None, sir. Sounds like Zandara filled you in, sir. But I've got about a million questions. Story time, Jack. And I used to really love story time. The Shrouded Realm is a world of raw, untempered magic. A magic so formless and wild, it's impossible to master. Yeah, I think I've been there. Then the Pentasad came to that world and created the fonts. Five great anchors that connected the Shrouded Realm to Avium. The ley lines spread out from these fonts, traveling through both worlds, turning the Shrouded Realm's magic into a resource we could use. If someone could capture the power of a font, they'd control magic in a way that no Magnus has before. Like a living ley line tower, capable of drawing magic from the very source, capable of even redirecting it away from other Magni. Sandrak has done exactly that. We believe he's in possession of a Thrata Cull, a binding stone, an artifact that can control the fonts. So that's what I saw the hand pull out of the ruins. That's right. With it, Sandrak will oh. eventually be able to block our access to magic completely. Then the Ever War is over. Over? As in he takes over Lucium? As in he takes over everything. Sir, respectfully and whatever, you're wrong. Excuse me? Oh boy. You said it yourself. Magic is a resource. Just because Sandrak absorbed a font or whatever doesn't mean his power is endless. It's just that it's probably ginormous. If he found a way to use the Pining Stone, so can we. We can take it back and then... at home I bring you good news sister peace is near allow me to let you witness it a small kindness between friends if you would have it we were just discussing what the best response would be to your desecration of the fonts had you yet concluded you have not Let us meet at Nosea to discuss the terms of your surrender. I hear now you speak for your king. So there should... <coughs> Chat! <clears throat> the boy does not know me. You have my word. The traditions of Aristea will be upheld. Without violence. I see a Lucium that genuinely survives this part of history. Well, that was horrible. Course of action? Devin, make sure every last trace of them is really gone. Zandara, I need you to speak to the Watch Commanders. We're meeting Sandrak at Nosea. We're outgunned. Not outfought. Not yet. Jack, let's talk. Is Zandara right? We're going to actually walk into Sandrak's trap. It's not a trap. Sandrak fashions himself after the nobility of Aristea. He'll honor the tradition of Nosea as neutral ground. Sir, I know you don't plan to surrender. Not even a little bit. We'll take him by surprise, hit him with everything we got, and hope the power of that binding stone of his is found wanting. Okay, so it's our trap then. The Immortals can't let Sandrak take control of magic, Jack. We have to take our chances. Speaking of the Immortals and Sandrak, and Sandrak having been an Immortal and you never telling me, your fellow Immortal... I figured this was coming. There's not a lot of time here. I guess we have more important things to talk about. We do. 
If we survive Nosia, we can talk about it again. Now, a few pieces need to fall into place for this ambush to work. I need you to take this to Captain Selko. A portal stone? Any message to go along with it? Selko will know what to do. You'll find him in Lordsfell along with a battalion of our soldiers. Understood. I'll head out now. Spell for that. So, uh, Kirkin didn't say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know, sir. Is it though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just, if I knew the whole plan, it could be helpful since I'm like part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. Jack, Kirkin's asking for an update. I delivered the portal stone to Captain Selko. What's next? Rendezvous with the rest of us at Nosea. Our parlay with Sandrak is imminent. Parlay? What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh-huh. See you soon. Yeah. 
There's no sea up ahead. Game face, Jack. Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know. This all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirken that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war. By turning the rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, Yipping... Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, <clears throat> don't make me do this. Captain Selko! You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound. He's moving it. We have to go. Now, fall back.
Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkens left for Lavnery to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkens' emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that. Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does, or how Sandrak uses it, but we can... Try and keep him away from the rest, if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Rishard. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So, that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. To pin that, we concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mmm, sticky wicket. The situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback, because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a shroud fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nosea. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell, and I'll tell you where we go from there. Sir, about Oriman, and what's his name? Thaddeus? Were the mission parameters unclear? No, sir. I just figured some more intel never hurts. It hurts time, Initiate. Do you want to hurt time? All right, I'm good. Heading out. Don't fuck this one up, Initiate.
think I have a spell for that. Sí, se me quita. 